Now this illustration deals with protection for spas or hot tubs. In accordance with 680.43A1 and A2 is an apple. Now we have two figure loops listed. The figure loop at the top now would be the emergency shutoff switch go to figure uh, 11-42. In other words, that's a switch that if got to they got the clamoring around in a spa and the uh, pump suction of the drain, if it had to be circulating and a girl's hair, a man's hair, long hair got caught in that, that's, you know, where uh, the person uh, in times past, that, that young girl got killed because there's nowhere to shut it off and she drowned before they could uh, find the uh, disconnecting means for it. So this emergency disconnect for that, if the uh, pump itself is designed to relieve uh, suction, if such an accident occurred or incident occurred, uh, some, some of them are designed for that. But notice the figure 11-43 shows such a switch and its location. Now, this illustration, though, uh, in figure two, if we have luminaires and switching outlets, then we would need to see figure 11-31 or figure 11-32 or uh, figure 11-42. So what we're trying to do here is to keep you well informed by, by referencing the figure loops based upon what is your uh, condition of installation and protection that the individual may be looking for, such as a designer, electrician, or inspector, and maybe even a maintenance person. Now notice the location of the receptacle. It's prohibited to be located within six foot of the inside of the walls of the pool or the edge of the pool, as you see as required now by 680.43A is an apple one. The bonding rules and everything that's required is 680.74 A and B. Now there's a 10 foot rule of location and then there's a six foot prohibited location that the receptacle cannot be installed but it must be GFCI protected and figure 10-35 is illustrating the location of the receptacle where it's prohibited and where it's permitted and what those parameters would be in accordance with 680.43A1 and A2.